I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm joined by Callis Sowland, who wanted to get rid of me after last week. He was interviewed four times in four days. On the yeah, I felt, like a beef, I felt like a beef burger on a grill. <laughs> well, uh, you're back. It's uh, it's Monday night of the next week and you're, you're back. You're, you're missing me already. Yeah, I'm missing you. Just recovering from Misfits. And uh, yeah, started the week with a big announcement, didn't we? Yeah, of course. We'll come on to that in a second. But it's like Cala TV at the moment. Or you obviously your podcast with Coogan airs what well, is airing now. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm worried about that. I don't know whether to listen to it or not. Um, I can't remember what I actually said to him, and that's not because of intoxication in any way, shape, or form. I just simply it was a bizarre hour and a half. Um, yeah, so. I've seen some of the quotes. I can't remember saying that I want to be a rock star, but I do remember I, that's true. It's true. I said it, um, and it's true. Um, I saw the the part about me and my brother taking lumps out of each other. It sounded like some sort of Guy Ritchie gangster film. Um, yeah, and there was another one. What was the other one I saw? Uh, a teaser was uh, was the rock star, me and my brother, and then there was oh, I've forgotten it now. There was one other one that went out, and I was like, "Uh huh, that's it." Oh, Wolf of Wall Street, yeah. <laughs> I can't remember saying that either. <laughs> so I think it's a. I'm sure it's a very interesting read or listen to. Sorry for a lot of people, um, especially those people who leave me those wonderful comments at the end of every interview. So, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, you can... back, yeah. <laughs> you can listen to that now on IFL, of course. Yeah, Kala, huge announcement as you were uh, just touched upon, November second. Uh, yeah, a clash that I think British boxing fans really asked for between yeah. Roy Williamson and Josh Kelly. Just talk to me about making this fight. I mean, I, I'm i surprised at how many people were saying this fight will never happen. Um, it's, I think, the biggest North East fight in years, um, I'd say in the last decade, Um it's huge. It's obviously that Sunderland Newcastle rivalry. It's the British Championship. Um, it's sort of the fight for the right, but there's so much spice between the two of them. There's so much spice between the two cities. Um, and uh, December the second, it's going down. Friday night, December the second, of course, live on Channel Five. Uh, expecting those tickets to be red hot tickets. So sign up for ticket alerts. They will be going on sale this week. Uh, wassermanboxing.com um, but yeah it's going to be immense I mean it's it's got so much spice to it I didn't know how big it was to be fair till, till we announced that we'd reached a deal uh, let alone announced a date and um, that's great and I'm super excited you know Josh is looking razor sharp uh, already now in training Um and yeah, I mean, we know we know Williamson is a, is a tough competitor. He's going to be, t- you know, going to be tough to rip that belt away from him. But it can only be one, and you know, we we know we know Josh what and what Josh can do. Cal, of course, uh, Josh Kelly has suffered a, a loss in his career against David Ammonition when he yeah. when he wasn't with you. Um, but bearing that in mind, how much of a must win fight is this for Josh Kelly moving forward? Well, I don't. I mean, I don't think you. I don't think I would have been able to help him in the ring too much either, Umar. But it's very kind that you mentioned it. it wasn't <laughs> with us at the time. Um, yeah, listen. Um, you know, losses come in careers. I mean, I remember Vladimir Klitschko uh, when they were boxing with us. That uh, he lost three times by knockout and went on to stay at the top for 10 years running so losses in boxing is what you make of it you know is the loss for a loss or is the L for a loan and uh, you know Josh is a very positive character he's got one of the best trainers on planet earth in Adam Booth and um, you know he's in a good place and I fully expect him to to have learned from that um, obviously very different type of opponent uh, in Williamson um, but it's a tough fight he knows that he's 
the fight he wanted. The people were saying to me, I remember there was like, a couple of journalists were asking that, you sure that Josh wants to fight? The thing is what people don't understand is behind the scenes, it's us sort of trying to control Josh, Josh's uh, ambition. And, uh, you know, he, he, he wants, he, he's not, that he's very, 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 uh, very positive in his thinking, but you've almost got to pull him back a bit. And, you know, um, and that's something that is to his credit. Um, but at the same time, people who go out and say, oh, we didn't think he'd want this fight, and you don't know Josh Kelly. Uh, and I'm, I'm just looking forward to it as a promoter and as a fan. December the 2nd, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be very hot. As you said, it's a local derby, so we expect uh, tickets to fly. Once they do go on sales, you said you can sign up now. Um, in terms of Channel 5 and TV ratings, I'd say since you, you linked up with Channel 5, this is clearly the biggest fight you've done so far. Um, we expect yeah. big ratings for this. Oh, uh, right. well, the, the great thing is, since we started with Channel 5, is the ratings have gone up and up. And there's a reason for that, is that people are getting used to the faces on Channel 5 now, whether it's Josh Kelly, Aethan Gorman, you know, Lyndon Arthur, obviously, strong addition to the team, Harlem Eubank uh, will be making an announcement this week, another show with Harlem Eubank before the end of the year um, in London. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's sort of a repetition of that as well. Um, but it's also great that these sort of fights are there, of course, you know, we're going to have a packed venue, it's going to be a red, or I should say, red and black hot atmosphere. I've got to be very careful there. Uh, red and black um, hot atmosphere on December the 2nd in Newcastle. Um, but at the same time, um, it's, you know, everyone knows this is going to be, a, this is going to be a real toe to toe. And the fact that they go through those camps and, you know, put it all on the line and they know that, you know, it's not a few thousand people that are going to be watching it. It's, it's, uh, you know, it's going to be millions, so, and that, that's fantastic. So, you know, it's a little bit that point we've reached now with our with our Channel Five dates, where you see now, you know, people said, "Oh, well, you know, why well, was like Josh and Nathan match so easily?" Well, both of them came off an eighteen month break, so we had to put them on as double headers. And yes, the opponents weren't um, Mam and Ali. We know that. We're not stupid. We saw that. That's why the rest of the cards were, you know, the cards were, let's say, dressed up with 50 50 fights on the undercards. Um, but you've, you know, we're going to put our guys into the fire coming off 18 month breaks. You know, you've got to build them up. Um, we're going to have an announcement on Nathan Gorman as well uh, with a Fabio Wardley fight this week, um, which we're very excited about. So you see that they've come back and now. Yeah, a little bit of patience, people. And here we are. You know, you got you an absolute banger for December. Christmas cracker. A few Absolutely. weeks early, but, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. Just lastly, Kala, I know I peppered you with a, a lot of questions uh, last week about Eubank Jr. and Ben. This is not really a question. <laughs> You're not going to let me off about one today, are you? <laughs> well, this, this, uh, What's going to know? <laughs> this, this story keeps developing, obviously, and it's not really a question. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a reaction to um, some of Nigel Ben's comments that he made. He said, I said to Connor, if you do fight him, i.e. Chris Eubank Jr., he's not fighting at £157. I want you to fight him at £160. And he even text Chris Eubank Sr. saying, I'm sorry about the picture that Chris Eubank Jr. put up. So is there a reaction and, and thought to that, Kala? Uh, no, it's nice that they're discussing it. Um and I'm happy to take guidance on that. You know, it, I don't set the weights. Um, you know, that's between the fighters. Um, I put the contracts into place, but it's not me saying it's got to be it this way or that way. Yeah, um, yeah that's, that's the only reaction I can give to that. And I guess to people saying, oh, you put it this way and that way. No, no. Um, the weights were put back and forth. Um, we had a similar discussion, by the way, earlier in the year. Uh, around the Brook fight. So don't forget that Brook fight almost got made um, earlier in the year and there was a, there was a similar discussion. Um, I'm not going to reveal the weights on that, but... Um, sorry. Is that Junior at the front door now? Probably, yeah. Um, 
but uh, yeah. but um, I, no, you know, I I I, I understand that the the the, the fathers. I guess was also some comments from senior at the weekend, and you know, um, they're on a speaking tour, so I'm sure we'll hear more of that. Um, but it said, I mean, you know, my my business is of course to to guide um, you know junior's career. But once again, on the weight, that's I would never say to a fighter you got to box it that way or this way. At the end of the day, I'm not the one making weight. You know, I'm not the one who knows. You know, they know their bodies, um, and that's that. Okay, well, some Keller Sowland. Uh, yeah, great news that you've got this fight finally on with uh, Williamson and Kelly, December second. A uh, huge night for the Northeast and British boxing. And uh, yeah, if you want to, if you want to chat tomorrow, Cal on camera, you're more than welcome. I'm sure we, I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will. We just make a daily, aren't we? Cal and Umar's daily. That's it. That's... Right, you better she's go. Not gonna leave door. Door. She's, she's keen this one. Right, Umar, you have a good night, mate. All you the too. Best, yeah? Take, Take care, Cal. I'm going to share something with you that might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.